There are two ladies people find very irresistible. Two ladies, many people believe that without them, they cannot be comfortable. Many men are falling for these ladies' charms, and many women claim them as members of their clan. You see, these ladies are perpetually out of seduction, and for them, lives and limbs have been lost in so many nations. Mm. These ladies have a way of playing with people's brain, making people mourn and groan and shout the lost name in vain. Many men are trapped between their ties and making such men pump and trust with insane delight. Many women frolic, frolic with them all through the night. And many of our youth can be seen nursing on their breasts in broad daylight. You see, these ladies induce our lawmakers to act with impunity. And then the lawmakers go running and hiding under the law in immunity. These ladies influence the high, these ladies roll and roll with the high class society. And then they have control of the ordinary people in our community. You see? These ladies are presently residents in the house of the leader of an African nation. They are in charge of his kitchen, and they prepare for him Prada rice, Armani beans, Versace, Versace stew, and Louis Vuitton meat. After all, if you're going to eat with one billion in a year, you can as well eat food prepared by a designer, while all the rest of us citizens languish in hunger and poverty. These ladies are also in charge of the members of our community. Make people like tanker drivers to drive across the border. And on their way back, there's small good frozen chicken in the front compartment of a four tanker driver. Mm, geez. These ladies also make truck drivers of a beer distributor to make sure that they sell all the beers. And on their way back, they intentionally crash the truck, ensure all the boxes are broken, and then take homo and spread it on the ground to represent the beer phone. And then call the beer distributor, Oga. All the stock have been destroyed. I just had an accident. Oh, These ladies are internationally recognized, infamously acknowledged. They have residence in all African nations and they are commonly called bribery and corruption. Oh, yeah. The good book says the love of money is the root of so many evils. The school of thought will say the people always get the kind of leaders that they deserve. Another school of thought would say, the nation is a reflection of the society. The society a reflection of the family. The family a reflection of the citizen. The family a reflection of this individual. Sorry, I'm high. <laughs> and, also, <laughs> and also, if you ask me what I have to say, I will say, he would without sin, let him cast the first stone. And then also, let us do what is fair and what is right so that we can flee from the temptation of bribery and corruption and free our mind and our nation from this self-induced detention. Thank you.